Pritchard, who is the keeper of the cup, which is like the coolest job ever. Tell me the best story you can about your time with the Cup. To me, I think the best stories always come from the fans and players, their memories about it. Uh, we're very fortunate we've traveled to 28 countries with it. Hockey's played all around the world now, so they, they all want a chance to win the Stanley Cup and bring it home to mom and dad. So every time we go to a new country and, and meet the people and the culture and that, I think that's pretty special to me. And, and to me, that, that's what makes every story special. What's the most unique country it's been to? Uh, we've been to northern Finland, we've been to northern Sweden, we've been to, into Siberia and to Russia. We got the go, opportunity to go to China this year with the National Hockey League and into Hong Kong. We actually took it up to the Great Wall of China and walked that with it. All of these places we get to go, they all play hockey. And that's what I, I think a lot of us have to remember that hockey's not just a North American sport, it's played in 86 countries and everybody loves the game and how can you not? Uh, what's the your favorite memory with the cup? Do you have one? Well, for me, I, each year when we hand it out on the red carpet to Commissioner Bettman, it, it's so neat. It sends chills up your spine every time. It's a new chapter in the Stanley Cup. There's a new, a new champion, a new captain, and to me, that one is always special. I love doing on Game Sevens when you don't know who's going to win and it's guaranteed win night. Yeah. Uh, always special, but. I think any time the Stanley Cup's around, there's always a neat story going to happen. I mean, just standing here this close to it, I'm like smiling ear to ear. I'm like, oh my God, Lord Stanley, it's right there. It's like, it's more famous than some celebrities even, right? Yeah, you know what, as an inanimate object too, I mean, it's three feet high and 37 pounds, yeah. but it's got 2,500 names on it. It's 126 years old and it has a life of its own. And that's, I think that's what you're talking about as yeah. It's right there, and if it could talk, it'd be a bestseller. <laughs> what? <laughs> and um, what is to you as being the keeper of the cup? Like, what does that responsibility mean to you? I, I'm very fortunate. I think I, I would have rather played hockey and won the Stanley Cup, probably like every kid that picked up a stick and put on skates. Yeah. But for me to be to be this close to history. And to be part of it, it's, it's very special and, and I'm honored and privileged every time I get to do it.